Do you need a degree? Not necessarily. Will a degree or university of some sort of experience help you? Yes. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ilhan and today we are talking about if a college degree, a university degree is needed in cybersecurity. Do I need it? Do I need to get it? What do I... Blah. So I'm here to answer all of that. Before I begin, I want to let you know about my newsletter. It comes out every week. It's for free. It's where I share all my weekly findings, any resources that I find, anything pertaining to, I don't know, tech, cybersecurity, AI, it doesn't matter. So, and I always share the book that I'm reading. So please check that out. I'll leave the link below. And please make sure to subscribe. Okay, let's begin. Let's go, let's go. I have a feeling today's video will actually be very short. <laughs> I will preface all of this by telling you my background so that you know how biased I am. You know, you know how truly biased I am. Okay, I got you, I got you. So I live in the United States, obviously. I came to this country actually as a refugee. And so education was always something that was super, super important. All of my, you know, like high school essays, college essays, I, they always had something to do with education. I think that's how I got into university. My, my whole paper, my personal essay was about education and how passionate I am just because of my personal background. So coming to the United States was truly an opportunity. As you may know, education is super important for anybody with any immigrant background, whether your parents are immigrants or you are an immigrant yourself, just like me. With this in mind, let's talk about cybersecurity in general. Even people with extensive cybersecurity experience are having some trouble. Not all, of course. What I found is that recruiters, hiring managers, people in the field, they all have different opinions and they all think differently. You get a cybersecurity job, they will train you. They will teach you what it is that you do need to know. Now, just to get in, of course, you have to kind of convince the hiring manager, the recruiter, all the necessary people within that company that, you know, you're the right fit for the company. So my college decision was really out of, I don't really have a choice. This is a no brainer. This isn't something to even debate. Um, I've never even thought about a possibility of me not going to college. Although I have my university degree, I took a non-traditional route to cybersecurity because originally I was pursuing medicine and now I'm in the tech, you know, cybersecurity sphere. I have another video speaking to that, so please check that out if you would like to know how I transitioned from being a pre-med, pursuing healthcare, becoming a doctor to now cybersecurity. Definitely watch, I love telling that story. Based on the conversations that I have had with people that I've worked under, managers and such, they've always shared that they're not always hiring for the most technical you know savvy person sometimes it's more so about who they are if they're a good person or not but we all know people say one thing and then they hire another so I don't know how true that is I don't know how true that is I take everything that a manager tells me with a grain of salt because I, I don't see a lot of that being practiced unfortunately job descriptions really are getting more and more bizarre so I'm not sure who to trust, HR, the hiring manager, the recruiter, LinkedIn, I, I don't know, I don't know. So I just trust my gut and what has worked for me. You will notice that a lot of these job descriptions, they'll say that a college degree is needed or they say uh, computer science or this degree or that degree. Or sometimes what they'll say is if you don't have these degrees, you will need some equivalent of experiences, whether it's three years experience, five years experience. I've seen the eight, 10 years experience sometimes. Unfortunately, the hiring manager is not always the one writing the job description. They might be approving it, but it doesn't mean that they're writing it in that sometimes Sometimes it comes from HR and they want a certain criteria. When I speak to recruiters and HR folks at companies, they have related to me that they're looking for somebody with a degree, even if, even if, <laughs> you know, they meet other criteria. Because although the sentiment in tech is changing about college degrees and going to university, sometimes the actual operation and hiring and, you know, conducting of interviews has not changed, unfortunately which is why a CEO will talk about how, you know, he values real life experience. But then when you look at like the, the you know, the jobs that they're hiring for, it's full of, you need, you know, 10 years of this, you need, you know, 50 different degrees. And so something is not matching up. There's a huge talent shortage in the cybersecurity field. However, companies are really picky and the hiring process is just terrible especially right now in a recession all that is to say do you need a degree not necessarily will a degree or university of some sort of experience help you yes i think it gives you an advantage and the two are just not lining up for some reason i, I can't even tell you why that is cybersecurity is quite interesting in that there's a huge amount of demand and there's a huge uh interest 
So you have that juxtapositioned with uh, an array of talent that wants to get in. People with various different, you know, uh, educational backgrounds, people with a lot of certifications, very, people with intentional, very few certifications. Although you don't need a college degree in tech per se, it kind of adds to your, you know, portfolio almost. Whatever you have that is presented, your resume, your college, all that. You can still get a cybersecurity intra-level job, but it doesn't mean that you will go the traditional route. It might be a non-traditional way or you might have other certifications, some sort of boot camp, other courses. Everything that is related to cyber is relevant. Don't leave that out of your resume thinking that, oh, they wouldn't care. No, they really want to know whether it's YouTube, Coursera, Udemy, LinkedIn course that they have. Anything that has to do with cybersecurity will definitely help you. It, it tells a more fuller story. Okay, let's summarize everything that I have said. Although a college degree and university degree does help you out, having any other level of education can also make a case for you. Whether it's courses that you take online, whether it's classes that you took in real life, uh, maybe you dropped out and you have maybe half of the courses finished, it doesn't matter. Whatever experience or learning opportunity that you've had that pertains to cybersecurity, it could be art 101, but maybe it's related to, you know, how to protect art, I don't know. If you can effectively communicate and relate everything that's on your resume to cybersecurity, then you'll do an amazing job telling your story and why you're the right person for this role. So no, you do not need a degree in tech or cybersecurity. However, it does help you out and the system has not really changed that much. So if you do not have a college degree or you come from a non-traditional background like I did, do not be discouraged. I would actually still put my best foot forward, understand which area of cybersecurity I wanna enter and then just go for it. And every interview, even if it does not go well, you get better and better at telling your story, at, you know, failing. <laughs> you fail so many times that eventually you're actually really confident and you know how to speak about technology in a way that maybe other people just don't, even if they have more experience than you. <laughs> Navigating degrees, tech, career, it can all be so tricky because it's just so intricate, I think, that every applicant has their own story, has their own way of coming about it. So one person might find cybersecurity super challenging, another person might love it, although it took them forever to get in. And so I hope this was helpful in any way. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe. Have an awesome day. <laughs>